multitude of things with this lentil soup, as I said earlier. You can change it. Maybe if you don't like carrots, you can add something else. Um, a rainbow chard, if that's something that you always like to do. I've done it in the past with sun-dried tomatoes for a little bit of sweetness. But today we're going to stick with carrots. Now if you're looking for something a bit heartier, which is often the case sometimes, especially for something like dinner, you can add potatoes, which is a great substitute. Or if you are a carnivore like myself, you want to substitute uh, chicken broth for veggie broth. And then maybe add a little bit of chicken or pork. Um, I don't recommend beef or salmon or any other type of seafood because it's just not texturally and flavor appropriate, nor would I suggest anything like tofu or seitan. Really, if you just want to bulk up and get some extra filling, potatoes are a great way, like I said earlier, or um, chicken or pork. So we're going to add half of a serrano pepper that we're going to chop up into little pieces. It's a little bit of a dull knife we're working with here. We'll just chop with the old traditional way though. Um, now, you may be asking yourself, why lentils? What is it about lentils that makes them so particular to fighting depression? So what we're going to do right now is we're going to drain these lentils, and then we're going to make a veggie broth. As you can see, I have a colander, but I also have a bowl underneath that colander, because we want to save some of the broth to make vegetables, but we don't want to get all the lentils going down the drain, which is happening a little bit right now. So you can see. Just look at that. Look at that beautiful goodness. We're going to toss in the onions here and the garlic first. We're also going to add just a teeny bit of salt. I'm not the biggest person on measuring, I must say, so if you're looking for a step-by-step, -step, uh, you might want to look elsewhere. I feel cooking is something that happens naturally, so you shouldn't force it too much to kind of go with your gut instinct. And that's the really great thing about lentils, is that they're, they're so versatile in so many ways. You can... Uh, you can whip them down to make lentil burgers if you want to. You just boil them in the process and you can make them into soups. They make great side dishes. You can put them in stews. So they're really great for any and all experimentations that you want to partake in your cooking endeavor. We're going to add in the carrots here. Now we're adding in the carrots in this stage because rather than boiling them, we're going to try to open up the pores of these carrots and allow some of that garlic and onion paste to really get in there. What we're also going to do is we're going to add one of my favorite spices here, fennel. Looks like right there. We're going to sprinkle in about, again, that's about a tablespoon in. This is, again, it's going to feed maybe three to five people. You don't want to overload with the fennel paste because it's really something that actually works best for uh, pork sausage. And then we're adding a little bit of cumin here, about a teaspoon altogether. Cumin is another flavor that's very overpowering. And as you can see, if you come in a little closer, that the carrots are starting to get a little bit crispy around the ends of the stuffing. So really those pores are opening up. And now we're going to add the two cups of veggie broth. And then we're also going to add about a cup of the lentil um, broth from the lentils that we just made. Okay. And then we're going to let that reduce by about half. 
And for those of you who are non-cooking savvy, reduce by half just means let it simmer until about half the amount of liquid is still in there that once was. Now I'm putting the chilies in at this stage because when you're sauteing and then you throw in like some hot peppers in there, you really just give yourself a bomb of, of capsaicin in the face, which isn't really good, especially if you're in an open kitchen like this one. It's not ideal for everyone around you. So again, we're going to let this reduce by half. I actually added in the other cup, so that's going to be two cups of veggie broth and then two cups of the lentil broth that we're going to add in here. And so we're just going to let that simmer.